Hello guys and welcome back to some more Bundesliga team of the season player reviews and we are looking at the 89 rated Javier Hernandez. He is currently 300,000 coins so if you are needing some ultimate team coins to go out and afford him head over to FIFA ultimate team coins .com. that is your place use the code Fuji get yourself a discount or if you're wishing to purchase game codes or downloadable content head over to G2A and also use the code Fuji. So for this player review I actually partnered him up top with a Bamiang so I was using the 4312 formation and his card looks really nice 91 pace 91 shot 70 75 passing, 86 dribbling, 37 defense, and 71 physical. So I played six games, scoring six goals, and getting three assists. And his in game stats just look really nice positioning, heading accuracy, ball control, finishing, all fantastic. And he does have that 99 fish finishing stat. But his dribbling is what's holding the card back for me. And I'll get into that when we go into the in game clips. But his medium to low work rates tells me that he wants to come and collect the ball. He's got three star skill moves, three star weak fit. His long shots don't look too good. His aggression isn't that great. But that 98 positioning is what the card is all about. He's a poacher. Let's get into the clips. So I paid 349,000 coins for the card and he's now settled on the Xbox for 300k and one thing with Hernandez and it is the major con like I briefly mentioned and it is his dribbling. Now I don't understand because at certain points in the game his agility, his balance, his ball control will all come into the play and he will actually feel quite good on the ball so I'm able to get past players inside or around the box and then smash it past the keeper at ease because his finishing inside the box is outstanding. He's a very very good poacher but when it comes to long shots that's not that's not his forte like he's not a very good long shot taker at all so i'd stay clear of that but it is just his dribbling that is letting him down because at times he will just feel so like stuck like standstill where i can't really catch or start a dribble run off with him properly and then he will just get easily dispossessed and it doesn't help that his strength isn't too great either and with his medium to low work rates like i actually mentioned he wants to come and collect the ball but with his bad dribbling it just doesn't seem to suit him but then it's like it's very inconsistent at times you may feel that he's good and then other times you maybe i'm just doing a little bit too much with him but if you've seen my other reviews and you've based like my style off of those then you can understand that i utilize the l2 r2 dribble a lot and i'm always trying to like just maneuver myself that i'm just throwing my opponent off so i'm not easily read and anticipated and with these like tournaments where you're playing good players you have to be like that if you're easily read then it's just not going to be any good so with hernandez personally for 300,000 coins i think it's a little bit too much for what he's able to offer you but if you're someone that has a different style that, where you're looking for someone that is just going to take up very very good positions inside the box with awesome heading accuracy and a very very good finish then Hernandez is your man but it's down to personal preference and for me unfortunately Hernandez does not suit my style so hopefully you guys have actually enjoyed my review and it's given you a better insight on uh, on Hernandez so yeah thanks ever so much for watching if you have drop a like and look at this for example I easily skips past players but I can't do that consistently so annoying but thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video team out peace